Hi there. Today we're going to talk about dimethicone in skincare products. It's one of the most commonly used ingredients in skincare products. Let's find out what it does and what it is. Let's get started. Quartz is the second most abundant mineral found in the Earth's crust. It's made up of silica. Silica is modified to make silicone and silicone is the one that's used in the skincare products. Dimethicone is a silicone polymer. When a molecule repeats to form a long chain, it's called a polymer. So dimethicone is a silicone polymer. In many products, dimethicone is used to give the product a nice texture. It provides a good smooth feel and glide when it gl when you apply the skincare product it glides through and that's because of dimethicone dimethicone fills in fine lines and wrinkles it creates a very smooth texture on the face this is one of the reasons why it's used in the makeup primers the purpose of a makeup primer is to get your face ready for the application of foundation so dimethicone in the primers they go in and fill the spaces and the fine lines and wrinkles and by doing that they create a very smooth texture on the face and now when the foundation is applied on the face the foundation does not go and settle into those creases now this is not a permanent fix once you actually remove the primer or any product which has got diabetic on it back in it uh, the fine lines and the wrinkles are visible again. Dimethicone is also used in um, skincare product to hydrate the skin. In the sense how it works is it forms a thin layer on the surface of the skin and prevents water from the deeper layers of skin from escaping through the skin. Now the effect dimethicone provides on the skin is only temporary. Once you actually get rid of dimethicone uh, or the product that has the dimethicone in it, the effect is gone. So it keeps the skin um, smooth and soft and hydrated for as long as it's on the skin. A couple of quick uh, things about dimethicone. Um, it's a common misconception that dimethicone can clog pores. This is not the case. Dimethicone forms a very breathable layer on top of your skin. It does not clog the pores. If your skincare product has got some other oil-based ingredients which can clog the pores, then those ingredients might clog the pores. And dimethicone, as its function uh, is, it goes and seals the top layer of the pores because that's what a dimethicone does. So it does not by itself clog the pores, but if it is used with the wrong ingredients or if the formulation is incorrect, it kind of forms a seal when the other ingredients have gone and clogged the pores. And another interesting information about dimethicone is, in a, dimethicone is silicon and a lot of medical equipment is made up of silicon rather than latex because silicon is hypoallergenic. That means it's unlikely to cause an allergic reaction. That's it for this video. Bye for now. See you in the next one. And before I go, three very quick tips. Number one, skincare first and makeup second. Number two, sunscreen, 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 because without sunscreen, whatever you use on the skin, they're pretty much useless. And number three, forget the marketing fluff. Check the ingredients because ingredients are the only ones that don't lie. Bye for now.